hey aries and hey aries cross watchers okay so welcome back to my channel um we are gonna do an update for what aren't they telling you all right i think we the last one i put out was about a week and a half ago maybe even two weeks so i'm just gonna give you guys an update on what your twin is not telling you um what's going on in their headspace their heart space what's going on at work and what's going on at home okay all right so Aries, let's see what your twin is not telling you. What are they keeping from you? Let's get an update. And you guys, if like, if you're feeling energy from your twin, like sadness, depression, you know, like a self-defeating attitude, make sure you pray for them, okay? Even if you have resentment, because like, um, we all know what it feels like to go through that shit. It's painful. You know, you feel low as hell. Like, you know, send them some prayers. Send, send them some good vibes. Even if they pissed you off or they hurt you. Um, because your twin is you. You you and your twin, twin are the same person. So um, if you've been feeling like these emotions, depression, and you know it's not you, you know you're not depressed, it's your twin. It's, it's the way your twin is feeling. You are mirroring their emotions and their feelings. So let's get started. Aries, let's see what's going on with your twin. When are they telling you? All right. We're just going to use my little deck because I love this little deck. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Okay, Aries, so in your twin, in their headspace, we have the six of wands in reverse, and then we have the queen, the king of cups in reverse. So Aries, what your twin is not telling you is that in their headspace, what they're thinking, they're feeling very defeated. Um, something is going on where they feel, they don't feel victorious at all. They don't feel um, prideful. They don't, they have like, they're, they're, they have a very self defeat. They have very self defeating thoughts. Okay, and this is definitely regarding love. When you have the, when you have the, the King of Cups in reverse. To me, I always think of an emotional abuser, a narcissist. Okay, somebody who is emotionally unstable. Um, somebody who is emotionally imbalanced. Um, somebody who has a lot of emotional control issues. This is someone who they don't. Like Aries, your twin, they're feeling, they're not feeling victorious in, regarding love. And I feel like their emotions are all over the place. Like their emotions are all out of whack because the king of, the king of cups is someone who loves unconditionally. They love you no matter what. And, you know, he's very emotionally mature, you know, because he's in his kinghood. So he, you know, he's not afraid to express his emotions and he's not afraid to get in touch with his feminine side. And he's not afraid to cry and just to feel because he's very comfortable in who he is and he's very comfortable in his emotions. Aries, your twin is not this person. Your twin is very emotionally unbalanced right now. And it's because they, they're feeling self-defeated inside their thoughts, their, their thinking, okay? And what they feel and they heart we have the strength card in reverse and we have the ace of cups in reverse yeah this in their heart they're feeling a lack of courage okay with the strength card in reverse this is someone who doesn't know how to tame themselves um they're attempting to they're attempting to uh, um they're attempting to tame their emotions tame their feelings they're keeping it a secret they're keeping everything held in um but this is really taking a toll on them this is really taking a toll on their strength their courage you know um their inner warrior if you would say because you know Aries, you you are the warrior um so i feel like your twin like they're like this person that you're dealing with is feeling just very self-defeating they have the ace, ace of cups in reverse so um this person is really really suppressing their emotions and suppressing their feelings like and this is really um they might even be love sick okay because when i see the strength card in reverse i think of it with the ace of cups here in reverse this person might even be love sick they might even be going through like some physical um um 
they might be having like uh, physical symptoms, you know, due to suppressing their emotions, suppressing their love, suppressing their feelings, not speaking up about how what they feel. Because I feel like um, this person is coming off like coming off like someone that's very happy and confident, and you know, someone who has moved on. But really, on the inside, they're suppressing all their emotions. They're, they're being, you know, uh, feelings wise, they're very closed off emotionally. Like they're not opening up to anybody with the Ace of Cups here in reverse. They're not opening up to anyone and they're not offering love to anyone, at least not genuinely. Okay. If they are offering love to anyone. It's fake. It's fake as hell because with the strength card here in reverse, um, this person is lacking courage. They're lacking strength. Okay. Um, that warrior spirit is not there, especially when it comes to their emotions and their feelings. Um, okay, so um, at work, we have the High Priestess with the Ace of Swords. So I feel like either this person works as a medium or this person works as like a psychic or someone who gives spiritual advice. Um, with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like at work, um, your twin is your twin is consulting someone who's very spiritual. They're trying to gain some clarity about something. This could also be another woman. Or another man is with you know with this high priestess energy usually the high priestess is like the mistress but i always see the high priestess as someone who's very psychic so um at work i feel like they're trying to gain some clarity here they're trying to they're trying to find some truth and clarity and i feel like they're consulting someone maybe they're consulting someone at their job um about truth and clarity or um or i feel like they're even they're even consulting a psychic about work okay like what should i do next what job should i do um, and this also too, with some, with the, with the high priestess in reverse, this is someone who does not follow their own intuition. They rely a lot on spiritual mediums, psychics, um, spiritual guides. So this is someone who's consulting psychics a lot. They could be even watching like in a lot of YouTube videos like this here, um, with readings and psychic mediums, just trying to figure out what the hell is going on here. They're trying to, they're trying to find some mental clarity. And I feel like with the, they have found some mental clarity about something because with the high priestess in reverse, they've consulted someone already. They can, um, and this is not intuitive knowledge. This is someone that they have, they're talking to, they're speaking with, trying to gain some clarity here. Um, not always the best thing. It's not always the, you know, the best thing to follow someone else's intuition, someone else's advice, because people don't know what the hell they're talking about. They don't know your situation. Um, but this, I feel like this person is reaching out to anyone that they can, as far as this goes. And I feel like they're trying to also as well, this person is trying to develop their intuition. Maybe this, maybe your twin wants to be a medium or a spiritual guide, a spiritual helper, some type of uh, psychic teacher. Okay, and they're they're really they're work wise. They're really trying to find some clarity here, like real shit. You know, they're 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 feeling very lost. Okay, Aries. Um, and then at their at home we have the four of we have the four of wands. This is the home card. This is the happy home card, stable house. Everyone's happy. We have that in reverse. And then we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like at home, Aries, your twin is being highly tested. Whenever I see the three of pentacles, I think of, of karmic test um, because he's actually carving Saturn into that building. He's carving Saturn into the structure. So I feel like it's going to, it requires a lot of karmic lessons. Um, whatever this, uh, your twin Aries, their home environment is like turned upside down, all fucked up. Um, and I feel like whoever they're living with or whatever, whatever their living situation may be, it's not working out at all. Like, I, t um, also when I see, um, the three of pentacles in reverse, I feel like something that this person has worked very hard for did not pan out. Okay. Something that they, they, you know, they put a lot of energy and work into, it didn't pan out the way they wanted it to. And with the four of, with the four of wands reversed here, um, this could be your your twin Aries could be living with a karmic or they could be living with a soulmate twin flame because you see 1111. And I also see with the 1111 reverse, I see that someone is um they have a lack of enlightenment. They're not enlightened. Okay, they're not seeing they're not seeing shit for what it is. Maybe they're someone is probably taking advantage of them in their home environment, using them for money or what have you, but whatever the situation is, it's not working out. And I feel like this is definitely a third party situation. Maybe they're living with a karmic or living with a third party, living with someone. It doesn't have to be a karmic, but everything is karmic, okay? But they could be living with a family member, okay? Living with a friend because their home environment is just not working out at all. And I feel like, 
I feel like they're working hard to try and they're working hard to try and find a new home or a new place to live, but it's just not working. I feel like they're stuck, you know what I mean? I want to get one more clarifier um for their heart space and for their work because whoa. So I see that your twin is trying to move on as well because when I was shuffling the deck, the the um the uh the ten, the six of swords uh, popped out. So I feel like um, your twin is trying to move on from the situation. They're trying to move on to something calmer, but I feel like they're stuck, especially in their home environment. Something about their home environment is keeping them stuck in a situation that they can't get out of. And I feel like this is this too has a lot to do with them being closed off emotionally. Maybe maybe it's just someone in their immediate circle that has them like closed off and emotionally unavailable. Like they're not offering any emotions to anyone at all. Like they're really suppressing them, you know? So clarifying the strength card in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse, we have the wheel of fortune. So, okay, so I hate to say this, um, but I feel like this person is going through a case of what goes around comes around type of thing because with the wheel of fortune here, this also means the wheel of fortune is going in their favor or it's going to go in their favor. I feel like a cycle is coming to an end here. If they are in a karmic relationship or in a karmic situation, which we all are, everything is karmic. But I feel like the situation is ending. It's coming to an end because I feel like they are trying to like escape on some like really trying to like sneak away. And then I wanted to clarify this, uh, you know, this, um, the high priestess, the, the ace of swords, and then we have the four of swords. So your twin Aries, they're taking a break from work. They're taking a rest. They probably, they could have lost their job, but I feel like they were talking to someone and somebody gave them advice about a job and now they're taking a break from it. Or they could be, you know, they could be, they could be taking a break from work and consulting someone about a different job. Okay. But we have the four of swords here. This means taking a rest, taking a break, um, taking a load off. Okay. So maybe they had two jobs and they dropped one. Or maybe they just they were in a, they were in a job where they just were restless and the job was boring and you know I feel like they're taking a break from that because and I feel like it has a lot to do with this home environment as well. Yeah, <laughs> so I wanted to clarify the home environment. We have the two of cups here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely a karmic situation, and I feel like this is what a soulmate. Okay, and whatever is going on here in this home environment, it's not working. Like, it, I mean, I don't, it doesn't even have to be a soulmate. It can be, some, it could be their mother. It could be their sister. It could be their roommate, whoever it is, this partnership, because you know, their cups are not, their cups are not even, okay. Her cup is a little bit higher. I feel like, okay. And he's actually helping her put this cloak on. If you can see, he's like putting her cloak on for her. So it could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be anyone, someone that they're in partnership with of some kind. Okay. They're connected to this person, but this is usually the twin flame there you have the two the 11 there again so yes i feel like this your twin aries is in a situation where a karmic when they're they're stuck and they cannot get out of it and they desperately want to because the situation is not working out i feel like the environment that they're in is very controlled it's a very controlled environment and it has it has them emotionally closed off mentally and in their feelings they're not offering love they're not offering emotions at all um, I feel like everything is coming from this home environment, right? Because they, they're feeling like self-defeated, um, just lacking courage, lacking strength, like just, I really feel like your, your twin Aries, they might be lovesick. I really do, you know, because they're taking a break from work. They're not expressing their feelings or emotions. They're not offering. And then their home environment is just like, they're just not happy. Okay. And this definitely has to do with a partnership, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So your twin is going through some shit, okay? Your twin is going through massive, massive changes, massive, massive transitions in their life right now. I feel like they're having like tower moments every single day because that that's, that's big shit right there, especially in their home environment, okay? I feel like your twin is really going through something. All right, so send them love, send them good vibes, pray for them, even if you have resentment towards them, because I would not wish this shit on anybody. Like, you know, feeling like self-defeated, like nobody loves you, um, 
you know, having to suppress these emotions because you're living with someone who you don't see eye to eye with. Maybe you guys are always arguing. Um, or this could also be too, your twin is working hard to find a home so that you guys can move in together. Maybe they want to move into, uh, move in with you, okay? I feel like they're definitely leaving a, a, a home situation, okay? So, Aries, I hope this update helps you a little bit to understand what's going on with your twin. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? Thank you.